Okay, this here I'm going to transplant some cabbage into. So you can see my little container. It's been filled up. Um, this is Jumbo Premium Flat Dutch Cabbage. For early cabbage, start seeds indoors. Transplant into the open ground for late crops. So thin. You know how it's just going to be, um, I don't know if these are non-GMO or not. Also, I don't know where cabbage seeds are kept. So I don't, I haven't gotten that far in my life here. So with that... These are what the seeds look like. And I'm just going to do just like I've done here because this is just for cabbage. And just sprinkle in. And I had read today, and it was pretty interesting, that the width of your seed tells you how much soil you need to cover it with. You cover it by twice as much. So, like your pumpkin seeds, if it's an eighth of an inch wide, you're going to cover it with a quarter inch soil. If your seeds are small, like these are, then you're going to cover them with just a bit of seed or soil and you can see the seeds all sprinkled in there now I'm gonna get some soil and put on top of them now you know this is gonna be a sprinkling over it because these are dinky seeds they don't need to be super duper deep but it's deep enough that the roots will go down before I pull these to transplant so because these will have to be transplanted into individual containers before I get them in the ground, hopefully. Okay, there we go. And then these get misted with some water. So let's get that done. And I found my spritzer bottle. It's amazing what happens when your kid knows where stuff is. So anyhow, this is just a quick spritz. Mist them over top of the seeds here. Get them good and wet. And these will be sitting on top of the heating pad. I have learned over my time of messing around with stuff, and I used to work at a greenhouse, that your seeds will germinate a lot faster sitting on a heating pad than with just a grow light. So, plus I made my kids do that once as a science experiment. They all picked grow light. They were all wrong. Um, anyhow, heat and pad it. Just regular old, you know, aches and pains. Keeping the house heat and pad works for this. Just keep it covered up. But there's that. And then I'm going to write um, Jumbo Flat Dutch Cabbage. C A B B A G E 2 18 24. And then we'll set this on the heating pad. So let's get this done. Okay, and then with this here cabbage, you know, it's been planted, it's been misted, and all that. So I set it on the heat pad. Um, just, you know, regular old house heating pad works. Cover the plastic so it don't get wet, especially at this here container because it does have holes down here. So it is likely to water out especially after I missed it but again that's the cabbage just set it on the heating pad and then hopefully this here will get us sprouted so again the heating pad I can fit multiple things on it I can scooch them over but I have this heat it's set on low just like I dug with the onions I just need to be warm and then gotta be scorching and dry them out the more heat the drier they do get so you gotta pay attention to keep them moist so there you have it.